Greetings, my name is Jeff Martinow, and I'm here today to talk to you about an organization called The Hope Project. It's a faith-based nonprofit corporation, and its primary focus is to eliminate human trafficking and the effects thereof, to facilitate in the recovery of victims from a horrific and tragic injustice to a life of hope. What I'm about to tell you is a very dark world where millions are being abducted or tricked into. This very real and present day evil has a name and it's called human trafficking. Human trafficking is a modern day form of slavery. Victims are young children, teenagers, men and women. Victims of human trafficking are subject to force, fraud, and coercion to compel them to engage in commercial sex or involuntary labor. Most people would not believe that slavery is a bigger problem today than in the 19th century. There are more people enslaved today than ever before. Now I want to make sure that you understand this. We have more slaves than we have ever had. You know there's 27 million people that are involved in human trafficking across the world, increasing by over one million a year. According to the U.S. Department of State, more than half of the victims worldwide are children. Sadly, 70% of which are used for sexual exploitation. Most of which are children with the average age of 13 when first being prostituted, some as young as six. The U.S. is a popular destination. Due to the quantity of its buyers and the price that they're willing to pay. That's what I said. The U.S. is a popular destination because perversion in this country runs rampant. You know, even our leadership is being caught up in these perverted acts. In today's society, I want to stress that our children are at a large risk from predators, larger than ever before. Did you know that there are over 650,000 convicted sex offenders within the United States alone? And from a survey taken by the Poly Class Foundation, one in 14 surveyed said they have talked online about sex with a complete stranger. Today, there are approximately 2 million runaway and homeless youth living on the U.S. streets, making them potential victims. Child victims of trafficking are often exploited for commercial sex, including prostitution, pornography, sex tourism. They also can be exploited for labor, including migrant farming, hotel, restaurant work, just to name a few. 50 to 75,000 new children are trafficked through the U.S. each year, with hundreds of thousands already a part of the sex slavery business, which is growing at an astonishing rate. You know, one popular method the traffickers use to get these children to do as they say is after abducting them, they are raped on their way to their new owners and told if they don't work in prostitution, their families and themselves will be executed. Once they're delivered to their buyers, they are often forced to service customers dozens of times per day. You know, many of these children are U.S. born. Some are trafficked inside the country, and some are exported to other countries, where blonde-haired little girls bring large premiums. Yeah, that's what I said. Blonde haired little girls bring large premiums. Human trafficking is now the third largest and fastest growing criminal industry in the world today. Human trafficking is almost as profitable as drug trafficking. It's a disappointing fact to hear that only 50 million a year is spent fighting human trafficking versus 19 billion on the fight against drugs. Can you imagine 
what their lives must be like. One day, they're happy little girls, and the next day it's a nightmare. Each one of these victims has a name. That name could be the same as one of your children or grandchildren. You know, we've been looking at these pictures of missing children for years and wondering where they went. Everyone is aware of the atrocities that are happening in the Sudan and other parts of the world. But why is it that so few are aware of the horrific industry happening right here in our country? You know, we at the Hope Project are working diligently on public awareness through speaking engagements and meetings and conferences, distribution of literature, so that the American people can be made aware of this travesty. We're working with law enforcement to help in their challenge to better understand these victims and to train their personnel to recognize these children as victims rather than delinquents. We meet monthly with the FBI and other activists of state and federal coalitions against human trafficking. We're working daily on the construction of rehabilitation homes for trafficked teenage girls. We've got the property in Michigan and it's been donated. And the Hope Project plans to start construction on a state-of-the-art 15-bed facility for trafficked teen girls. This facility is a one-of-a-kind and the only facility in the U.S. totally focused on the rehabilitation of these children with this type of trauma. This new facility will be equipped with everything from its own school to outside activity areas. It truly has everything to meet the needs of these children. The staff, from caregivers to counselors to cooks, will be trained and overseen by an organization that's one of the largest and most successful in the rehabilitation of abused children in this part of the U.S. You know, in closing, I'd like to just say, the prevention of trafficking, especially the trafficking of children, continues to be an urgent concern of the government. A quote from the U.S. Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice, states, defeating human trafficking is a great moral calling of our time. Across the world, and especially in the United States, awareness about human trafficking has been increased. However, awareness is only as meaningful as the action taken. Would you please join us in this fight?